back. Today we are going to go small, like really small. Looking at the Lumitop GT Micro. It is a shrunk down version of the legendary BLF GT by Lumintop. Uh, you can see here is our original. And next to that we have the BL or the Lumintop GT Mini, sorry. And there's our Micro. As you can see, it is a really little guy. Like, I don't even know what to compare this to. I don't have anything else like it. It is just, and what I love about it already is it really looks just like the BLF GT. It's not like a cheap copy. It looks like the real thing. We get all the same detail around the bezel. Nice, smooth looking reflector. Great finish on it. Nice fins. Other than the proportion of the switch to the body size, it looks just almost identical to me. With the smaller versions, we do have the XPL high intensity rather than the XHP35 we had in the gigantic one. Um, Lumen Top is rating this little guy at a thousand lumens, just 200 lumens less than the GT Mini. We did also get the same great user interface. We got a one click on, one click off. From the on position, a press and hold will give you a ramp in either direction. Double click for turbo. Double click again for your blinky stuff. Quick shout out to Neil's Gadgets for sending me this light for review. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so if you like what you see in this video, be sure to check the link in the description. Not because they sent me a light, but because he has the most awesome lights and really good prices. Now, as best I can tell, this light is also direct drive, just like our larger version. And by as best I can tell, I mean I checked. Using my 3-inch lumen tube, I compared this to the best lights I could think of to compare it to. And that is my uh, Quark AA2X, the BLF GT Mini and my everyday carry brass just because I don't really have any other AA lights at the moment. This is my go-to AA light and this light is powered by a 14500 cell which is also what our GT Micro is powered by. It will not work with only an AA unfortunately but uh, the 14500 does power it pretty well. These are, the lum these are the numbers that I got using my Malka calibrated lumen tube, the three inch one. The GT Mini ranked first at 1537 lumens, followed by my Everyday Carry Brass, which is 1217, and then we got the GT Micro at 985 and my Quark at 389. I was surprised that the Micro tested that high, uh, you know, off of only uh, one little uh, 14500 cell with only the single emitter in there. I get that kind of numbers out of my uh, everyday carry brass because it's a triple, but um, I think the only limiting factor with this light is is the battery itself because just to check and see, I tested the current and on this light I got around 3.2 amps. The GT Mini tested at around 5.4 but when I took the 14500 cell out of the GT Micro and put a, a dummy, uh, used a, a dummy AA cell and a couple of magnets and then jumpered it with an 18650, it drove at almost exactly the same current. I got uh, 5.4 amps with that. So seriously, the only limitation this light has is that battery. And these ones that I have are, um, I don't know, something fire, windy, windy fire, maybe. They're pretty good. They carry a, a, a decent load for that, but maybe if you can find a little bit better cell, uh, you might get a little more power out of it. So why don't we just go outside and have a look at the beam? Well, we're not 100% dark yet, but we're close enough, so off we go. Here is the Quark AA2X. The Everyday Carry Brass. The 
the GT Micro. And the GT Mini. Now we are roughly triple that distance, about a hundred feet or so. Here is the Quark AA2X. Everyday carry brass. The GT Micro. And the GT Mini. The far end of my yard, 250 feet. Quark AA2X. That is our turbo mode. Can't even hardly touch the shed. A little bit down there. Everyday carry brass. A little better at the shed. We can see what we're doing now down there. Nothing over there at the far side. Good up close though. Now Lumen Top GT Mini. Killing it on throw. We're good up close too. Good bright spill still. Goff on the right side there. A lot of good visual, very laser-like. Now the GT Mini, definitely still a clear difference, but for a little bitty tiny guy, I think the Micro is pretty amazing. walk down a little ways and compare the two now Just for kicks, we'll grab a shot of the barn. Cork AA2X. Uh, gives us nothing but a black hole. Everyday carry brass. Uh, I hate to say we're not doing much better. A little bit of grass back there, but still no barn. Now the GT Micro. Now we're getting there pretty easily, really. Boy, that's... <laughs> See the tractor even. And we'll do GT Mini now. So what did you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty impressed myself. I mean, for... <laughs> I just can't get over how this something so tiny can be so lightsabery, you know? I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, I mentioned earlier, I said, you know, I told you we compared to uh, these two lights because this is kind of the closest things I had to it. I don't have a lot of AA lights. Um, if you know of a 2AA flashlight that you think is awesome or that you would really like to see reviewed, let me know also in the comment section because I, I'm that's about to change. I'm going to get some of these, but I want two AA size lights. Your best, whatever you think is killer or something you think is reviewed, put it in the description because I'm planning a video about that. As always, guys, super thanks for watching. Good lucks.